Hey everyone, how are you doing? This is Helton's Computer Repair here with another quick tutorial. In this tutorial, I'll be showing you how to download and install Spy Hunter 5. It's pretty much an antivirus protection, not really an antivirus protection, this is most like malware removal that will be able to help you out on your computer. I don't haven't used it that much myself, but seems that lots of people have. So we're just gonna go ahead and jump right into this tutorial. So first thing you do is pretty much go ahead and open up a browser. I'm going to go ahead and open up Google Chrome. A uh, wonderful pop-up came up. Charms, I'm going to skip that. And on the top right there, when you get to your site, wherever you're at, just go to google.com. And you're going to look for the software called um, Spy Hunter 5. Let's see. And that's the current one that's out there. And you'll see the site right here called Enigma Software. And that's where it's coming from. You're going to choose it. And it tells you about it. It's a malware detection and removal tool. Rapid malware scans quick and easy detection of threats. Enhance um, multi layer scanning and vulnerability. And you can get the rest. I'm not going to go into the whole thing of reading all about it. I'm just going to go ahead and download the free malware as remover. And it has a nice little star on there. So it's probably a trial, is all it is. And let the file download. Tells you if the download didn't work, you can click here again to see if it'll download it. It did come down to here, so I'm going to go ahead and click it now. And you'll probably be prompted for this to install it. Go ahead and press yes. You'll need this to continue. And then from there, I'm just going to go ahead and X out the browser because I do not need it anymore. It's going to ask if you want a different language. By default, it's set up on English. I'm just going to leave it as it is and press OK. And it's going to tell you the Spy Hunter is an adaptive software detection and removal that provides ridiculous um, protections. And you get the rest. I'm not going to read the whole novel. Limited installer. Let's go ahead and continue. And it's going to tell terms and information don't care. I'm just going to press I accept because you need that to be able to install it and let it do its work. And here's the software, so it's finished. Um, let's see if it's doing anything. It already popped up pretty quick. And opened up the program before you even finish when you could even click it, kind of funny. And it's gonna tell you to enter your information, personnel. I think we need to, do we have to? To you not have to activate the trial, okay. So I'm gonna press X because I do not want to. Oh, I'm not gonna have to literally have to enable her anymore. Okay, let me see if I open up the program again. It's probably going to force us to type in uh, email. Let me get a dummy um, person real quick. I really don't want to use this on my own personal one. So I'm going to go to Google on here, and I'm going to type in fake person generator. And there we go. I'm just going to put this. I actually can just probably just copy it. That's what it is. We're looking for your email. So we have an email. There's an email. <laughs> Toss that in there. Um, I don't know what my issue is. We're going to choose that. And by checking, press next. In order to activate, you must enter a valid email. Ah, they catch it. They know when it's an email. Okay. Well, I'll just use a dummy one for mine. Let me make one up. Tim at Helton's Computer Repair.com. And this just forwards it to me. It doesn't matter. That is, it doesn't matter if it's an email or not. It forwards any email to my thing. I don't, what the hell? Okay. John Smith at Elton's Computer Repair.com. This is, it should generate this. What the hell? Okay, let me try a different one. I'm about to type in one of my actual emails. Oh, not that one. Let me think one that's something dumb. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and type in... Yeah, I'll just type in one. I'll have to just blur it out for you all and see if it works. This is an actual email that I'm typing in.
So it literally has to know if you're a real emo. It's pretty boring. Pain in the butt. So it seems it's scanning for memory. Get the rest. See if it even finds anything. I've never used this program myself. It tells us that we have plugins. I explore. Well, yeah, duh. What was it saying? I, I, I don't see any problems on Internet Explorer. It's just telling the Internet Explorer. I don't have no add-ons or anything on there. What is it? Okay. Unregister. That's an install. That's an update from something. OneDrive updater. These are normal applications here. So I'm not a fan that has used this program yet myself. I would have to look into it. It's attacking like a malware, but because it was a virus, I made some videos before on a virus, so it's not a virus. The add-ons for everything from it probably is what it is. Let's see what else it finds on there. Let's see what the vulnerability shows. It's an outdated. Ooh, Firefox. It's dying. It's the end of the world. Okay, you get the point. This pretty much was just pretty much a tutorial how to um, download and install the systems. So that's pretty much it. I'm gonna go ahead and exit the browser and exit the program because I don't think I need it. And that's pretty much it. Thank you for watching from Helton's Computer Repair, and I will see you on the next video. Thanks for watching guys, if you just like this video then hit that button, but if you like it and you want to see more, hit that like button, get subscribed, comment and tell us what other tech videos you want to see. Consider checking out our merch store, link in the video description, and for the rest I will see you on the next video.